Hi everyone, Sahil from QuickNode here and in this video we will talk about multisig wallets and how you can set up your own multisig wallet on Solana. So without any ado, let's jump into it. In a normal wallet, there is a user with a private key and when that user wants to send a transaction, they sign that transaction or validate that transaction using their private key. But in a scenario where there is a wallet and there are multiple parties who are responsible for the funds in that wallet and if a transaction is to be sent from that wallet or funds are to be moved out from that wallet all of these stakeholders or all of these people responsible for the funds in that wallet needs to sign the transaction or majority of the people needs to sign the transaction in such case a multisig wallet comes into play a multisig wallet is set up using a smart contract that smart contract is set up in a way where there are predefined conditions where majority of the people sign the transaction or validate the transaction or if all the people validate that transaction then and then only that transaction will go through and funds will move out so if the majority of the people sign that transaction then and then only the transaction will go through or a condition can be different where if all the stakeholders or all the people associated with that multisig signs the transaction then and then only the transaction will go through so this is how a multisig transaction or a multi-signature transaction works and just like everything a multisig wallet has its own advantages and disadvantages as well so because it requires multiple signatures it eliminates the risk of single point of failure what i mean by eliminating the single point of failure is that because not only one key is required multiple keys are required to sign the transaction the attack on these kind of wallets becomes less and uh, there can be one private key stored on someone's phone there can be one private key stored on someone's computer laptop etc so the point of failure of devices also reduces in these kind of transactions but there is a disadvantage as well because more than one private key is required to sign the transaction or more than one involving party is required to sign the transaction the speeds of these kind of transactions becomes less so now let's see how we can set up a multisig wallet on solana so we will use squads to set up a multisig wallet on solana squads is a platform which can be used to manage treasuries create multisig wallets on solana and other svm or solana virtual machine based ecosystems squads provides a multisig wallet smart contract so that you don't have to set up your own you can use their gui to set up a multisig wallet and work from there so once you go to devnet.squads.so you should see a screen like this and if you want to set up a multisig wallet on solana's mainnet you can use v3.squads.so but for the sake of this tutorial we will set up one on devnet so you'll see a user interface like this then click on connect wallet and there you have your wallet connected so what you can do is you can create a new squad we will name it video demo wallet and then give it a description so let's just write to show case a multi-sig wallet then click on next so because you connected your wallet it will fetch your wallet address and then you can add a, another owner like this so this is how you can authorize another address to access your multisig wallet and then you can set up a confirmation threshold so which tells you that how many number of parties are required to sign a transaction in this case all of them so because we have added two wallets and then create next it will ask you to verify all your configuration then click on confirm verify the transaction approve all right so now our multisig wallet is created so once the wallet is created you'll see a bunch of options like dashboard transactions you can see the number of owners 
you can also add an owner from here and then in vault you will see assets and nfts owned by this multisig wallet so to demonstrate how a multisig wallet works let's deposit some funds on this wallet so it will be detected from our main wallet which we connected let's choose sol and let's send 0.2 sol after confirming the transaction as you can see it's already here our two sols which we sent to this multisig wallet and now let's demonstrate how a multiple signature or a multisig transaction going out of the wallet looks like so let's go to vault again assets and then let's go to send and let's send some sol back to my wallet so i'll choose i'll choose sol and then max then send it so now it opens up again to ask approval so after approval let's go to the transactions tab and see if we have any active transaction as you can see we have one active transaction and let's click on it all right so as we can see that there is only one confirmation which we signed from our main wallet but we need two confirmations to send this funds out of the wallet so what i'll do is i'll open my another wallet connect the wallet here because we have authorized it and now let's confirm it all right so now we have given authorization from both the wallets and after that this execute button will be activated so once we execute it the funds will go out of the wallet and this is how we have successfully performed a multi-sig transaction so what we did is we created a multi-sig wallet created two authorizing parties both of them were my wallets but in a real scenario both of these parties will be different wallets and both of them will need to sign or approve the transaction and any of them then can execute the transaction so this is how you can set up a multisig wallet and perform multisig transactions on solana if you learned something from this video give it a thumbs up subscribe to the quick note youtube channel and let us know in the comment section what you want us to work on next thank you everyone